Today's video, guys, we are reviewing the Spiteful Fang. This is a legendary kinetic bow, and it's the only lightweight frame bow in that kinetic slot. Of course, to get access to this bow and completing the frame, you have to first unlock Izanami's Forge. Quest guide is below if you haven't done that. Guys, let's talk about this bow and the role that we're looking at today, and let me just be upfront with you, it's not good. Now, again, this is a lightweight frame bow. It draws quickly, and you move faster while this weapon is equipped. So, again, the same as the rest of our lightweight intrinsic perks now the role i have on mine i said it's not good it would be good in theory and matter of fact it may be okay on pc i've got hip fire grip which i know what you're saying like come on really we do gain that increased accuracy from the hip you'll start to see what i was trying to do here though in just a second archer's tempo which is actually a really good perk your draw time decreases after every precision hit so for that follow-up shot, it's really good. Now for my different string perks here, we have Carbon Arrow Shaft and Straight Fletching. One of these boosts our accuracy while the other one increases stability. I went with the accuracy buff. And then our actual string perks themselves, you've got Elastic String and Flexible String. Elastic decreases accuracy, but you get a faster draw time and a slight increase here in handling. Now the mod that I was using, and now you're going to see what I was thinking. I'm rocking a freehand grip mod, which increases accuracy and ready speed when firing from the hip. So boys, I thought I hit the gold mine. Like I was like, yes, we're gonna take hip fire. We're gonna combine it here with freehand grip. We are gonna be a hip firing machine. Just bow shotting people from the waist. I was really hyped for it. Turns out it's kind of difficult to aim from the hip, especially with a bow and a controller's joystick. I'm sure there's somebody out there that can do it, but my thumbs, they were having problems with hitting crit shots, which you really do wanna hit crits with these bows because they do not hit hard. And something like Crucible, we're hitting 138 per crit and 86 per body meaning if you happen to be inaccurate and you can only get off two body shots you will not even be able to kill that guardian so you gotta hit at least a crit shot and then a body shot now you can always rock another weapon and i think that's what makes this bow somewhat attractive is that it is in that kinetic slot so if you wanted to rock something like lunas how or not for gun that is definitely an option and believe me there's people out there that do rock bows that immediately swap to lunas how or not for gun and boy are they aggravating to go against. Now, with all that being said, is Spiteful Fang a bow you should be going after? Unfortunately, I think this bow just dropped at the worst of times. When you look at the other weapons that come from this forge, you've got Blast Furnace, which that pulse rifle is just an outright monster. On top of that, La Monarch dropped this week, which is the new exotic bow, and that thing is a monster. So needless to say, Spiteful Fang couldn't have picked a worse time to show up. But there is one thing that intrigues me about this bow. When comparing it here to Arsenic Bite, and yeah, Arsenic is not necessarily a great bow in Crucible, but it's not a bad one. You see that our stats here are a little bit better in things like accuracy, handling. It does lack a little more in aim assist. But it was when I started looking at the perks of the Spiteful Fang that I got interested. In the first column here of our traits, you'll notice that the first perk is Rangefinder. Aiming this weapon increases its effective range and zoom magnification. Now, I really don't know how this plays a role in bows, considering we don't have a range stat. We have an accuracy stat, a stability, a handling, an impact, but I don't see a range stat, which makes me wonder how would this trait affect my arrows? Would they launch faster? Would they be quicker? Do they get increased projectile velocity similar to something like rocket launchers and grenade launchers? Because yes, an arrow is a projectile. That is the only reason why I am reviewing this bow right now. Is it bad? Absolutely, this is not a good bow. It's okay at best. But this one trait, Rangefinder, has got me wondering about this thing. So guys, if you come across a bow that has an elastic string, a fiberglass arrow shaft, Rangefinder, and possibly Rampage, I want to try it out. That last column, I say Rampage, I really don't even know what I want there. It could be anything, really. The main thing is, I want to see a bow with Rangefinder with our draw time as low as we can possibly get it. Is it going to be good? I have no idea. Probably not. But you got to understand, Bungie has snuck things in on these weapons. Weapons. They snuck in Kill Clip and Rampage together on Kindle Orchid. They snuck in a Kill Clip perk on our high impact sniper to tar and gaze. So yeah, I do wonder, is there something hidden about this bow? And I think it might be surrounding that rangefinder perk. I could be absolutely wrong, but understand guys, this is the only bow in the game that can roll with rangefinder. So fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. Oh.